Ola Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moons, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It does not matter the time of year. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments. So post your request up and then while you're waiting for your request to be done, why don't you check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. First portion of this reading, we will go over your traits of your sun moon combination. I will lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. The second portion of this reading will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the year with clarifiers. So the cards with clarifiers, I'll be dividing the year up into four separate quadrants. So let's see what's up with your sun moon combination. You, why are you guys so serious? <laughs> so serious, okay? You guys are serious individuals. Um, and even though, I mean, you do give off like a very intellectual, very classy, very smart image, but you guys are always thinking and you're, um, you know, a little bit introverted, always thinking. One of your best traits is actually your common sense. So you have your wits about you. You have street sense, all right? Um, you have, a hyper awareness about you that other people don't have you definitely get a lot of admiration people respect you because you're an old soul so you have this wonderful um, you're very mature like old soul is a really good term I kind of like to call it okay you probably have a lot when you were growing up probably a really strict upbringing not a lot of love not a lot of affection not a lot of hugs not a lot of kisses um very structured a lot of rules things had to be a certain way rules had to be followed and um and and actually and you, you actually kind of did well with this actually um and you also probably were the person that had a lot of responsibility put on you because you're very responsible individuals. People noticed that. So you were the one that got the chores. You were the ones that looked after the little brothers and sisters. Um, you were good at it, but you didn't, it, this kind of stopped you from having as much leisure and as much fun kind of as other kids did. I get like a kid looking out of a window and watching kids play and that kid's inside like watching the little brother and the little sister and they can't go anywhere until mom comes home. You know, maybe you're a latchkey kid of some sort, if anyone knows what latchkeys are. And as a result of this, you might harbor some resentment or you might be a little bit um, discontented because of this. Um, so again, you know, getting responsibilities dumped on you and being like the one that everybody relied on. You can be a little bit shrewd. You can be a little bit cold. Um, now, it, it, going back to your childhood again, the fact that you didn't get, um, you know, accepted or validated or supported, um, you have this huge drive to kind of prove to everybody how awesome you are. Um, you have determination to win over anything that gets thrown at you. You're very ambitious. You take on anything you encounter with incredible strides. You have a great inner strength great resolve again very determined and you're also well you guys are double capricorn so you guys are the climbers so sure and steady wins the race to the top of the mountain and you're going to get there you're very methodical in your pursuits of your achievements and pursuits of your standing in pursuits of your status and pursuits of your money and finances um what you need to work on in 2020 you need to be a little more compassionate towards other humans you need to express a little bit concern about other people so basically just learning empathy um learning the art of empathy so put that on your checklist for 2020 don't let your job don't let your career be a substitute for humans people um contact relationships love anything like that um Try to appreciate other people. Try to be tolerant of other people instead of instead of always asserting yourself in a position of power. Um, try not to be so guarded from other people. Try to open up a little bit more. Try to be more understanding. Um, try not to be so biased when it comes to other people. Like I said, try to be tolerant of other people's ideals because you guys tend to be stubborn and when somebody opposes you you will take it on head on hello the goats 
Remember the horns and stuff? Their horns get tangled. Did their horns get tangled? Um, also, when it comes to foes <laughs> or enemies, you'll kind of like cut to the quick just so you can overcome them, okay? So that you can defeat them. But on the bright side, <laughs> you guys are always well prepared for everything. You're very, um, you have effectiveness, you have strength, great perception, you're centered. Sometimes you can have creative endeavors, believe it or not. You guys have a little bit of creativity for you from time to time. Something that is great about Capricorns, especially double Capricorns, your sense of humor. You guys are witty. And it's, it's kind of like a dry sort of humor um, that people don't necessarily get at first, but when they do, they're like, oh my God, that person's so hilarious. So that makes up for, for kind of the somberness, the solemnness that you have, the seriousness, you, seriousness that you have to you. Um, when it comes to professionally, you're gonna be drawn to things that are well organized, that have structured, um, and, and you usually don't wanna take anything where risk is involved, so kind of tried and true. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. You work best within the confines of rules and regulations, and you guys would be really good, um, really great at a corporate environment or um, it, corporate, corporate environment, finance, business, things like that, okay? Anything where status is achieved by climbing a ladder. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moons. For the year 2020, what do you see? What do they need to know? Any messages you have for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moons will be greatly appreciated. you see what do they need to know to reach your higher ground become closer to universe and closer to the divine what do you see for january february march for capricorn sun capricorn moons january february march capricorn sun capricorn moons we have the chariot card in reverse oh that's very un capricornic <laughs> what do you have for april may june for capricorn sun capricorn moons and keep in mind i'm on social media i'm on instant instant Instagram, I just say Insta, Insta, Facebook. I just say IG, isn't that what they say now? IG, Facebook, I'm on the Instinto app if you need a quick answer to a question, I'll turn it in 24 hours. And it's currently 498 as you're viewing this reading. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright for April, May, June. What do you see for July, August, September? July, August, September. And of course, if this resonates, consider a personal reading. My email is below, just send me an email we can make that happen we have the eight of wands in the upright for july august september and then if you could just like share subscribe and support of these videos i might be able to muster the energy to do them every year you never know page of cups in reverse all right so we start off at the beginning of the year something is and i'm telling you right now you guys aren't going to like this um that's the card of cancer if that resonates but basically something um you wanted things to go a certain way maybe they were going a certain way and then someone came along and said okay i'm gonna take over now we're gonna do it this way and you're like wait what um and so they they take you're not on track anymore so you kind of had your goals you were kind of determined you saw where you wanted to go and then somebody or something or an entity came in and interfered with this and you don't have control over it anymore it just like got plucked away from you so you can't accomplish what you want. Not only that, you don't have any control over it. Not only that, you're at somebody else's mercy. You can't do anything about it. And in fact, some of you might have to actually give up on this because um, it isn't going where you want it to go. And obviously you guys are, when you're trying something and as determined as you are, you know, if it gets taken away from you, there's nothing you can do about it. You're not gonna be very happy about that, okay? And we'll see when I pull clarifiers in the Vimeo reading. Um, I told you to click below on the video, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, Nine of Pentacles is here. So things turn around April, May, June. Um, for some of you, I feel like you might get a, um, another career. Um, you might end up with another job or another career that guarantees you, uh, well, first of all, where people find you worthy, but it also gives you class. It gives you status. Um, you're working towards... Um, this this shows you being very independent not needing anybody you have your own money you're you have your own standing 
your own cogs are moving. You don't need anybody. You're on top of the world here. So um, I don't know if you got out of this situation and it worked out to your benefit or what have you, but I get, oh, don't tell me I have hiccups now. We'll wait until clarifiers come along. Eight of Wands, things are moving very quickly for you during July, August, September. This is a card of forward movement, quick forward movement. Things are happening very quickly. Usually it's communications. Um, it can be, I, actually, it could be, let me start off with, you could be traveling. Some of you could be traveling by air um, all over the place. So it could be for your job or what have you. But it's also a card of things happening very quickly, forward movement, quick change, communications happening very quickly, um, phone calls, texts, emails going back and forth and something's coming about as a result of that. So it seems like July, August, and September are very action oriented. We get into the Page of Cups and I think what kind of happens here is that things are moving forward so quickly and at such a quick pace, there's so much going on that when you go into October, November, December, you're like, oh my God, I can't deal with this anymore. Everything is chaotic. You need, you, you don't work well when things are kind of getting thrown at you left and right and you don't know what to expect and it's very fat, fast paced. You guys have to kind of stop and be like, breathe and get out your planner and kind of plan everything out so that you can kind of be grounded. And I feel like at the end of the year, everything is flying around. It may be because it's hol holiday time, holiday season. And you know, you're thinking about, okay, Halloween goes into Thanksgiving, which goes into Christmas for some of you that live in the United States. And it's just too much to think about on top of work and too many people to think about. So it could be um, in a family aspect or a holiday aspect, but I just feel like whatever's moving here, it continues into October, November, December, and you're just uncomfortable with it because you don't work well in chaos, okay? So that's what I have for you. Click on the Vimeo link below. It'll take you to where I'll pull these clarifiers. We'll go into a deeper interpretation, consider a personal reading, and I think that's it. I'll see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.